Yeah, first off, uh, you know, a lot of credit to LAU Post. We knew coming in here it was going to be an extremely tough battle. You know, they have played well all the way through postseason. And we knew at any moment, you know, we had to keep scoring runs because they have a very, very explosive offense and they were very hard to pitch to today. Um, but we, you know, we came in that first inning. I think we were, you know, I think both teams were nervous going into it, rightfully so. Um, but when we scored that first inning, I think that helped us settle down. Um, and then I, we continued to score every inning. It felt like I mean, I looked up at one point and there were 14 hits, and at the end, I think there were 17 hits. So I can't complain too much about 17 hits. All right, then uh, maybe your coach and, and both players, if you want, just come in as the great seed, be the number one seed. Uh, I mean, being the eight seed, it, it helped. You know, Southern Indiana gave us some kind of some some positive vibes coming into this thing because they were the eight seed last year and they won it and they, and they rolled through the tournament. So, you know, coming into it, we knew we were the underdog. You know, nobody expected us to be here, and 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 we and we do. We do a good job in that role. Um, every number one team we've, we've played this year, not that they're ranked number one, but they are number one in the tournament. So they do have a one beside their name we, we have beaten. So that, that helps us settle in. I told them that before the game, you know, let's make it three for three on number one teams that we've played this year. And, and they did just that. Uh, she did. Yeah. Um, well, once you make it to the tournament, it's really whatever happens. So the seeding may matter for who you play, but once you get there, anything can happen and anyone can win. We have a saying that we say a lot in the dugout and it's whatever it takes. And honestly, like I said, once we're here, the number beside your name doesn't matter. It's we're doing whatever it takes, every inning, every pitch to get it, to make it happen. To win the game. All right, uh, Maddie, there's some uh, thunder at the bottom of this lineup. Uh, <laughs> Um, yeah, I figured it out today, big time. Uh, I'm not really the biggest contributor on offense. You know, throughout the season, I've always depended on uh, my teammates to help help us out, and I, you know, work on defense. But it felt really good today to come back and be that person to step it up finally and make it happen and get some uh, RBIs next to my name. It felt pretty good. Yeah, uh, Kayla and Emily, what, what's that mean? Yeah. I mean, that's huge. Like I told her, I was like, man, you're the hottest nine hole right now, buddy. Because I know when, you know, like she said, we, we, she hangs her hat on defense. And I put her up against anybody in the country on defense. Um, and, and that's why she's in the lineup is, is for her defense. But I knew in, in that first hit or first or second inning there when she came up, you know, as a coach, the, on the other side, you're, you're looking at the batting average. You're like, oh, finally we can breathe, you know. And no, we, she you couldn't breathe on her today. I mean, she, she made it very hard, you know, three for three with a walk and three doubles. I mean, you, it, was hard to, it was hard to pitch to this lineup today, and, and it definitely helps when the bottom of it is, is knocking it out like that. When Maddie comes up and she gets on as much as she did today, it really sparks our team too because, like she said, she's not one of the stronger hitters in our lineup. But when she comes out and starts knocking the crap out of the ball, everybody else has the confidence to come up there and hit it too. It really sparks our lineup. You know, we've been talking about it all postseason. <laughs> we've toyed with it. We've not done it yet. But, you know, we, we got in that moment, and, and Harris is, is very good at getting her bunts down. We had a little speed on third base. so. It was already tied, so I just thought, what the heck, you know. I'm either a zero or a hero. So thankfully, she got her butt down and saved my, saved my butt right there. But, um, you know, we were just trying to play loose and, and just trying to get, like she said, whatever it takes. We're trying to pull out any trick in our hat that is going to get runs across the board, and that's what we did today. Thanks. Uh, well, for the squeeze. She always, throughout the whole season, she'll look at you, she'll be like, are you ready to squeeze? Or on third, you're like, you good? You ready? We may squeeze here. And never once have we ever done it. And so I got the sign. I was like, all right. <laughs> and we got it down. And then, um, you know, just doing whatever it takes, like they said. Thank you. Um, the line drive, I just... Last year, we worked on it a lot. We had some trouble with it. And so we worked on it like all practice last year. So it's paid off. 
Uh, this year, when I come in there and the play over my head, it's I had no doubt that I was going to get it. Again, we just we got to step up and, and play our game. I think there's some things we can clean up on defense and, and on the mound, but if we hit like that, I'm not going to complain too too much. Yeah, um, all season we've kind of had to remind ourselves, you know, daily that we are the team to beat now. Like we are not, we are the underdog, but we are a good team. Like it's hard to beat us as well. Like we have to have that confidence behind us. And I think today we really did. And once we start getting things going, like it doesn't stop. And that's what was really important today that once we kept scoring, like we kept going and kept uh, stepping on the throat and scoring runs. So we're just gonna keep that attitude going into the rest of the tournament because uh, it was a big win, but we're not done yet.